Hey there. Today we're going to learn how to add fractions that have unlike denominators by writing equivalent fractions with common denominators, specifically with tenths and hundredths. So if I had a problem like 5 tenths plus 23 hundredths, uh, the rule of fractions tells me that I cannot add two fractions that have unlike denominators or different denominators. In this case, I have a denominator of 10 and I have a denominator of 100. Uh, before I add these two, I need to have both of the denominators be the same number. And the easiest number or the easiest way to change these is to change them both from tenths to hundredths. So I'm going to rewrite the problem down below. This time I'm going to write them with common denominators or the same denominator. And we want that denominator to be 100. Now from here, I didn't change anything to my denominator. I went from 100 to 100. I didn't do anything to the denominator. So if I didn't change the denominator in any way, I can't change the numerator. Otherwise, I'm writing a non-equivalent fraction. So 23 hundredths would still just be 23 hundredths down below. However, if I'm changing from tenths to hundredths, then I did do something to my denominator. In this case, I multiplied it by 10 in order to get from 10 to 100. So if I multiply my denominator by 10, I also have to multiply my numerator by 10. 50 times 10 gives me 50. So 5 tenths is equivalent to 50 hundredths. Now, since I have common denominators, I can continue to add my original problem. And I would do that by adding 50 and 23, my numerators, which would give me 73. And then when I add fractions, remember, I do not add my denominators together. They simply stay the same as my answer. So my answer for this problem would be 73 hundredths. Let's look at another example. Again, I cannot add since I have different denominators. So I'm going to change these denominators so that they are the same. And again, the easiest way to do that is to change them both to the larger uh, number, which is 100. So I'm going to change both of these fractions denominators to 100. Again, to get from this 100 to that 100, I did nothing. So I'm going to do nothing to my numerator. 13 will remain the same, and these are both equivalent fractions because they're the same fraction. Uh, but over here, I did do something again. I multiplied 10 by 10 to get to 100, so I also need to multiply my numerator by 10 to get to 10. 1 times 10 gives me 10, and now, since I have common denominators, I can add just my numerators. 10 plus 13 gives me 23 and my denominator stays the same. So my answer would be 23 hundredths. Let's do one more example. Here, let's do 9 hundredths plus 4 tenths. Again, I cannot add with different denominators, so I'm going to change both of those denominators to be the same denominator, which is 100. To get from this 100 to that 100, I did nothing, so I'm going to do nothing to my numerator. 9 would just stay the same. That fraction didn't change at all. However, this fraction did change. I changed from 10 to 100 by multiplying by 10. So I would also need to multiply my numerator by 10. And 4 times 10 gives me 40. And now all I need to do is add my numerators, which is 9 and 40, which will give me 49. My denominator stays the same, and my answer is 49 hundredths.